شاكر عامر هو has been still in prison for now this is tenth year he's been ten years in prison in Guantanamo Bay for no crimes that he's committed he hasn't been convicted of any crime it's very sad to see that he hasn't been released yet even though the Bush government has cleared him for release and now again Obama's government has cleared him for release and he hasn't been released yet شاكر عامر is not in prison because of anything that he have committed outside prison uh, or any uh, crime that he has committed. I think the only reason that they keep Shakir Ahmed inside is because of his campaigning inside prison. I mean, how much he cares about other people and how he tries to help many, many other people inside prison and translates for them. And because of that, he has been uh, targeted and singled out to, and kept in prison unfairly. They are trying to... Uh, so they're trying to keep him quiet and silent and that's one of the reasons I think they don't want to release him is because Shakir Ahmed is articulate and he can explain, uh, can expose many, many things that are happening today in Guantanamo Bay and the things that did happen in Guantanamo Bay for 10 years. And it's very sad to, to think that only because you want the truth, and, uh, you want to hide the truth and cover it up, you would uh, go to the length these politicians will go to the length uh, into excluding someone from his freedom and his, from his dignity and, and to see his family and children. Shakir Ahmed has a child, Abdul Salam, Faris, uh, who hasn't seen him at all. He never seen him since he was born. And, uh, for, for no reason, he's not a criminal. He hasn't committed anything. He doesn't have contact with his family for many, many years. And I, uh, I want you to support his campaign. And I think uh, it's obligatory upon us to support him and help him and to sign petitions uh, when we require to. Yeah, there's a petition I know outside that uh, is asking Parliament to discuss this case, even though looking at what happened to Talha Yaksan and Babi Rahman, it's very sad to see the double standard of uh, ministers, the Home Secretary, and the minister of racism that goes institutionalized racism inside judges. But even so, I mean, we can do our best. To, uh, each one of us can do a lot, not only signing the petition for those uh, corrupted politicians, but uh, rather every one of us can do a lot. We can uh, speak, we can write articles. Uh, some of us are teachers, we can explain to our students. We can do a lot in campaigning to release Jack Ram. Please don't lose hope and do your best to get Jack Ram released now and soon. Thank you very much.